This website will go through uploading a biography of an artist of yours to your website. Now keep in mind your website has to have that feature enabled for this to uh, work. Uh, for example, the free templates would not be able to do this. Okay, so in Masterpiece, uh, first thing I'm going to do is find my artist that I would like to upload a contact to. Uh, let's pick this Damien guy. Uh, here's my contact details about him, and if I go to the online tab, you'll notice they have a section of artist bio. Now, this section wouldn't be here if he wasn't an artist. For example, if I unclick artist, you see how it disappears because you don't need to upload a bio for a customer. Uh, so when this contact is an artist, this information will appear. The picture here is already in here. Uh, basically, you can just double click here and find where your picture is on your computer. Now, uh, here is where my biography is going to go. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is attach a file here. Uh, so when I double click, it's going to go look for the file. Um, so let's say that I have a biography already written in Microsoft Word. Um, and I do happen to have that. So I'm going to open up my computer here and go to the C drive, go into my Arite folder, and then here's a folder called Artist Bio. I would recommend putting all your, all, all your artist bios in this folder. And I do have a, a bio here in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go ahead and open that up because I need to change the extension. Because as you can see right now, it's a dot doc. Now it's when, this is uh, Microsoft Word 2007, so it's a dot doc X. Um, if you have Microsoft Word 2003, it, it'd be a dot doc. Um, so what I want to do is go to this little window here and do a save as. And I will, I'm going to keep the same file name and I'm going to change the save as type to dot html web page dot html um, microsoft word 2003 is very similar you'll change it to um, also a web page and it will say dot html so i'm going to change this and notice how the extension here changed to a dot htm uh, I, as you can see here i'm still in the same folder so i am going to save that here and now it is in the format that can be read online so I'm just going to go ahead and close this document here. Close this. And now I'm going to attach the bio here. So I'm going to double click, go into my computer, into the C drive, into my Arite folder, into my artist bio. And here is my file, damianbio.htm. I'm going to double click on it, or you can click and press open. And you can see how it goes in here. Perfect. So now I'm going to do a add to web and then save it. Um, sure. So now when I do an online update my website and then go ahead and update. Here is my website right now. And as you can see, it's an empty shell here with nothing in it. Um, now your website might have stuff into it and we are going to upload. Um, it, it looks like it's going through the upload process right now. Uh, it looks like it's uploading a couple pictures. And here's the bio right now. Oh, one thing I should mention about the bio, name. Um, your Microsoft Word document or your pictures for that matter too um, should not have any spaces in the file name. So just if you can just name it like um, one word. Let me open up my web page again and do a refresh. And here's Damien that I just uploaded. Uh, it's got some pictures here. And here's where it says Artist Bio or Artist Biography, depending on how your website is set up. This one says Artist Biography. So I'm going to click on that here, and you can see that it uploaded his biography and attaches a little picture to it, too. And that's, that's it for uploading biographies.